and Dad, we've had this tape for forever, but we've never watched it. What's on this thing anyway? Where did you find that? Well, it's quite the story. It's actually a movie about your Uncle Kevin from Oklahoma. You know, we could give you the behind-the-scenes story about what really happened there. I haven't seen Kevin for a few years now. He mostly keeps to himself ever since his high school friend got killed and he was named as the main suspect. Take it easy now. This is going to be a nice visit with family. There will be no new investigations. Aaron, I'm sure happy to see you both. You must be Mary. I'm Kevin Wallace, Aaron's cousin. And just so you know, it ain't true what people say about me. This movie they're making will change people's minds, though. Just you wait. Speaking of which, Mr. Wolf is just over there setting up. He's a big time Hollywood producer. And who the hell are these people wandering around my set? Wait, Kevin? Your timing couldn't be better, my boy. Did I tell you this guy was great or what? Come on over here for a minute. Excuse me, this'll just take a minute. Then I'll show you around town before we head back to the farm. Hey, you. Don't just stand there. Lend me a hand, will you? The place is practically a swamp after the storm last night. My camera is rocking like a horse. There's a ticket office at the station. Find me something I can put under the tripod? Find me something I can put under the tripod.
Kevin Wallace, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Abigail Winters. The body of the woman you murdered was found in the woods this morning. Now I trust you already know your rights, don't you, boy? Get this scum out of my sight. What? This is another mistake. I, I didn't do it. I swear. Aaron, you've got to help me. Meet me downtown at the sheriff's as quick as you can, please. Listen up, people. Losing Abigail is a tragedy, but as we in the business all know, the show must go on. Let the police do their thing and we'll do ours. We can all grieve once the movie is finished. If you need me, I'll be in town making phone calls and looking for a replacement actress. Oh, looks like Kevin's in some serious trouble. We should head to the station right away. I've said it before and I'll say it again. That Kevin Wallace killed Elizabeth Fox dead. I'm sure of it. Now he's gone and done it again. There's the police station, Aaron. The sheriff looked like he was about to take Kevin's head off back there. Uh, hello, Big Pete's Diner. Can you please bring a large coffee to the police station? I'll make that four large coffees. Yeah, that's right. Put it on my tab. Y'all here to see Kevin? I know about you two. Seen you in the papers. All right, you got five minutes, but this counts as his phone call, you hear? No funny business from you two. Oh! You're finally here. I heard the sheriff say an actress was killed around 7 o'clock last night on the set. You've got to believe me. I was nowhere near that set. Twenty years ago, I was accused of killing a girl from my school, Elizabeth Fox. Even though I didn't do it, folks around here were sure I did. And now they think I did it again. I was running errands around town. First, I went to make a haircut appointment. After that, I went to the general store to get some feed for the animals. Finally, I stopped by the diner for a spell. Maybe half an hour? Please, you've got to help me prove my whereabouts to Josh. Er, that is, Sheriff Stutter. He's got it in for me something bad ever since back then. Okay, it would be better to split up from here. I'll go ask around town and try to confirm Kevin's alibi. You stay here and see what else you can find out. It's probably best if we don't leave Kevin alone with the Sheriff. Okay, dear. Just be careful, all right? Oh, and take these two. Who knows? Maybe they'll be useful. You and those Hollywood folks, I swear! Mr. Fletcher, I suggest you don't waste any more of my time or your own. You ain't gonna find anything except what I already know. Kevin is guilty, damn it. Guilty. Since I already know you'll go snooping around and stirring up trouble no matter what I say, I may as well just show you. Have a look at these. Yeah. 
You can see that the clues are almost identical. The blood stain beside the head, the fox figure. The only thing that doesn't match is the necklace from the original murder which the killer kept. I know he killed my Elizabeth just like he done killed that actress. Only this time he was sloppy. Oh yes sir, this time there are major differences in the evidence. On that day, he took my Elizabeth away from me and got away with it. But not this time. I'll see to it justice is served this time. This should do the trick. Delivery from Big Peach Diner. 